Hi everybody. In today's video, I just this is for an update for Blazor File Upload. Blazor File Upload has reached 26 stars. I started making the video yesterday and it had 25. But one of the new features I added to Blazor File Upload recently is you can now upload multiple files. And I'll just give you a quick demo. This is Blazor Gallery. And I'll, this is an open source project and live site. And I'll put the link in the video description. But if you want to upload some multiple files, you just up, click the upload button. And you can, in this project, I have it set to go up to 10, but it's a parameter. So you can upload whatever you like. I may have already done some of these, but it doesn't really hurt to have duplicates. Okay, and that's how uh, it's really simple to add multiple files now because after I started testing this project, I realized it was a pain to do one file at a time. So I'll go ahead and close down Blazor Gallery, but I will put the link in the description to the GitHub project if you want to look at how this uh, project works. And now I'm going to go ahead and close down this. And the only thing I want to tell you briefly uh, is, uh, well, I closed down. Here's Blazor Gallery. If you go to... If you, if you want to install this project, you just go, go to browse and type in datajuggler.blazor.fileupload. I already have it installed, but it'll show up here. And what you want to do is after you get it installed, this is where I have it. And to do multiple files, all you have to do is put multiple files equals true. And I'll show you in the on change event, I have this on file uploaded. And this method here is going to get called once per each file in your batch. So if it's only one, it'll be a batch of one. But what you, uh, what it does is, I got this property called file dot last file in batch, because when I first wrote this, my plan was to upload an image, save it, display it, then the next image. But what was happening is I kept getting an error because I was calling refresh which refresh just does a state has changed, you know, invokes it async. And that was messing up the file upload because it was in a for each loop and it didn't like the page being refreshed. That kind of broke everything. So what I have to do is wait until the last file is saved to disk or last file is finished uh, saving. I save up here to SQL Server. And after that saves, uh, then I call refresh and I call file upload dot reset. So that way the, the button turns back into upload. And the only other thing I need to show you about this is how you register a Blazor file upload. So if you look in, I have a register method right here. And I've got a, all these components in here are all uh, iBlazor component uh, objects. And this is an iBlazor component. Let me go to the very top. This interface here is an iBlazor component parent, so it's uh, prepared to host all the iBlazor components. And so what I do is, uh, you're going to get an error though when you call, I'll show you here in, uh, here. I've got this property here called parent, and Blazor or uh, Microsoft doesn't like you using, uh, they want you to use auto property where all you have is a, oops, get and a setter like that. But the problem with that is I can't do, they don't want you to have code in your setter like I'm doing, but that's how the interfaces talk to each other. So I just make sure my parent exists and then I call the register method. And after this, the parent has been stored. So the Blazor file upload can talk to its parent. And from over here, I have a property called file upload. So I can store the Blazor. Basically, they can, it allows the components to talk to each other. But to do that, there's one property you have to add. And I've already got it in, I think, both of these projects. But if you go to build, there's a warning, or it might be an error for BL0007. Where was that? Right there. And that right there is going to be the Microsoft wants you to use the auto property, but I disagree with Microsoft on a lot of things, so this is one of them. So that is basically the brief tour of how Blazor file upload works with multiple files. Just make sure if you um, do this to handle, there's also a property here you can set max files. Let's see. Max, uh, there's max file size is the upload limit, and then I have a max files count, 
is set to 10. Let me find that. Okay, it's not here, it's over here. By default, I've got this set at max files count equals. Okay, so I've got it in the constructor here. You can change it though, it is a parameter. So if you wanna, in your project, if you want to make uh, max files count, you can set that to whatever you like. I can set it to five if I want it, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it 10, because that's a, 10 works for, you know, if you have a fast internet connection. It's still on my list to make it display the progress, because if you have a slow internet connection, 10 files may take a little while, but uh, it is what it is. So that's my brief tour of Blazor file upload. I just wanted to announce I've reached 26 stars, so that's my most popular project or at least in STARS. Uh, we've got some other projects that I think are a little more, they have more work involved in them, but selling free code is harder than anyone tells you. Well, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for Blazor file upload. All right, thanks for watching and have a great day.